Hi Scorpio, welcome to your week ahead. This is for all Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign placements. Scorpio, I already shuffled for your theme in your week ahead. You have two cards that came out. You have the Shadow Queen. Acquiring knowledge, insecurity, manipulation, 16 reduces to a 7. So with this energy as your theme in the week ahead, you may be focusing on having understanding or gaining understanding. You could be dealing with feeling insecure, unstable around a situation or your circumstances at this time. And with manipulation here, I feel this is more about you seeing what you can do to become more secure by having more understanding by, about your situation with the focus of being able to redeem yourself or deal with a conflict, or you could be experiencing um, what feels like a measure of upheaval, or you could be trying to look at your options or see what you can discover, but definitely you're focused on applying wisdom to the situation here to see how you ha can have things work out for you as best as possible in your week ahead with the Shadow Queen here. You also have the Word Lord that came out as also a theme for you. Communication, praise, dishonesty. It's a 43 that also breaks down to a 7. So this is about you redeeming yourself or needing to have faith. Um, this is about you focusing on any conflicts, definitely. This is about you trying to have understanding and wisdom and looking at your options for sure for many of you. And with this communication, praise, and dishonesty, this is about you communicating clearly with yourself and with others and acknowledging yourself or others who contribute towards you being able to redeem yourself or to maintain or have or, or those who consider you or the way that you consider things. And this is about you focusing on making sure that things are done on the up and up or you having faith in a situation that may feel like things are off or not on the up and up right now. But there's a need for you to have honesty, but also you being able to be aware of any dishonesty that could be occurring. So be mindful to pay attention to what's being said to you. And be careful about what you say with the focus on showing praise where you are able to get an understanding or see progress as a result. So I already shuffled. So let's get into your reading. We're going to do a mini Celtic cross. And with this mini Celtic cross, we're going to look at where you're at right now, what your challenge or influence is, what's underneath the situation. What's in your recent past? What's on your mind? What's in your future? And what's your likely outcome? That's also your advice. So at the bottom of the deck, your focus is you have the Queen of Swords. So with this energy as your focus, this is either you or you are dealing with someone embodying the Queen of Swords energy. And so with this Queen of Swords as the focus, this is about being logical, clear-minded, objective, detaching from emotions, and this is about cutting away what no longer serves you. This is about you being able to see through the bullshit. Remember with the word, Lord, if you notice any dishonesty. But this is also you not bullshitting yourself. Being mindful not to be manipulated, but also that you are not manipulating. Or perhaps if you are manipulating, to what end? What is the goal? What is the objective? And are you operating from a low vibration in the manipulation that you may be? Um, ensuing or not but with this queen of swords this is you communicating or standing in your truth she has a vulture so somebody might be trying to eat your ass up with their bullshit or schemes or in the communication that's being conveyed to you or you might be doing this to somebody else but it's with the focus of the knight of pentacles of you getting something done you being dutiful you seeing progress, you being very determined here with something that you want to get done or you want to do, or somebody's trying to be very determined with you about what they want to get done or do as it has to do with you, Scorpio. 
So where you're at in the present is you have temperance. So with temperance here, this is you trying to balance, do things in moderation. With temperance here, you may be seeing how you need to compromise or you may be focusing on cooperation. You could be experiencing some discord or competition, clashing of interests, or experiencing some frustration. But with this particular energy of temperance, I feel this is you balancing. This is you trying to make sure things stay even, stay um, with temperance here, properly measured, calculating things properly, being creative in doing so, being sensible, focusing on how to heal and have harmony, having an aim towards balance. This is you operating from a place of self-control. This is where you're at right now is temperance. This may even be you needing to be patient and while being patient, making proper actions that don't cause instability or things to get out of control for you. You may even need to focus on your energy and making sure that you replenish yourself and get proper rest. But that's where you're at right now is temperance, doing things in moderation, being very careful, I feel. Now, your challenge or influence is you have the hangman. So this is you needing to see things from a different perspective, needing to see about the alternatives with the hangman. I feel with this energy, you could be experiencing some stagnation or feeling stuck or limited in some way with the hangman. With this hangman, you may need to see what you need to sacrifice or let go of. With this energy of the hangman, this is you trying to avoid any issues or while you're experiencing issues, perhaps you are trying to see what you can do to reevaluate and see how you can creatively inspire your situation to remain balanced and not tip too far in one way or another. But this is your tempering at a time where you are perhaps feeling stuck or stagnant or not able to make any moves that you would prefer to make. Or this is you looking at your alternatives here so that you can continue to temper things and keep things adjusted. This is you adjusting, constantly seeing how to adjust. At the root cause underneath is the chariot. So with the chariot here, for some of you, this is around about your vehicle, how to take care of your vehicle or being careful about your travel or vehicle needs. But with the chariot here, this is you trying to maintain control or keep things under control or get things under control. This is you trying to have forward movement with the chariot. This is you using your will and your intellect to forward your aims and have progress with your goals by eliminating obstacles or steering in such a way to either avoid the obstacles or to find a way through them. But this is you wanting victory and forward movement. Now, in the recent past, you do have the tower. So with the tower, this is experiencing perhaps some adversities, a shakeup that was uncomfortable. Now, it's possible you could have gained an epiphany or a reset that allowed you to be in a place where you could temper your situation better. But it still came with some anxiety or some adversities or a lack of freedom to some extent. Or, you know, there was some sort of crack in your foundation. You may have gained some sudden insight, but you did have a shakeup in the recent past. But from what I can see here, I feel that this is you dealing with your adversities and challenges and you taking sudden action to reset things and temper it. Or something came in all of a sudden and it's like suddenly you were able to temper the situation to a more balanced state. Now what's on your mind is the Three of Cups. So with the Three of Cups here on your mind, this may be you focus, focusing on family or connections with others, particular relationships. 
But with this Three of Cups, this is you focusing on trying to have some sort of achievement, emotional satisfaction. This may be you focusing on the cooperation and support of others to help you to be able to move forward in your aims and overcome any obstacles or adversities that you're facing. With this Three of Cups here, you could be um, reuniting or uniting with others in order to overcome the challenges. So either it's like you and who you're dealing with together, you each have your adversities, but together you each are being a support to one another and uniting in such a way that where help or assistance may be needed in order for each of you to have success or achievement, even if in a small way, is possible by what you're able to um, be of support or how others are able to be of support to you. Now, in the future, you do have the Page of Swords, Air Energy. So with the Page of Swords, some sort of news or communication could be coming in. But also with this Page of Swords, this could be you having new consideration, coming up with a new plan. But with this Page of Swords, I feel that this may be you following your intuition. And through you following your intuition, doing things in a new and different way in the future, implementing the alternatives. With the Page of Swords, this is also you about being protecting yourself. But be mindful with this Page of Swords that you're not immature or harsh in your communication or your logic around things. But I feel like this could be news coming in. Now, in the future, excuse me, in your outcome, you do have the Two of Pentacles. So with the Two of Pentacles here as your outcome, this is you being able to balance things or seeing how to balance things or focusing on maintaining balance through either balanced decisions with this Page of Swords by cutting away what no longer serves you, being mindful to protect yourself and what you're considering and being open to new ways to achieve balance and avoid things becoming out of balance. And so to look at the Page of Swords a little more closely, with that Page of Swords, you do have the Two of Wands. So this is you making decisions, planning. Um, be mindful because I'm seeing this black cat and the white cat. Um, you may be torn between doing something the right way or doing something, you know, slightly underhanded with this Page of Swords and the Two of Wands. But this is you planning, making decisions. I also feel there's a need for you to be decisive with this Two of Wands. You may be feeling indecisive. And with the Two of Pentacles, looking at that more closely, you do have the King of Swords. So this is you being able to cut away what no longer serves you. This is you being able to be firm but fair and logical. This is you making decisions that, that impact your circumstances to bring balance to it or to keep it balanced or to change it. But with the King of Swords, this is you being logical, coming up with a strategy and it's effective. And with this page, with this three of cups, you do have strength. Yeah. So this is you being strong and determined. And with those that you are dealing with the connected to being strong as well as you being support to one another. And so it's important for you to make sure you communicate with each other to be able to continue or remain or be a support to one another, to show praise to each other for the support that's being given, but show praise to each other to be of support to edge each other on while you're trying to acquire the knowledge and understanding and build and work on your security and manipulate your circumstances to that end. And with the chariot here, you have the king of cups. So this is you taking responsibility, being accountable. And this is you having control over your emotions at times where things feel like you're dealing with obstacles or issues. But you focusing on being determined to steer things and maintain control or get things under control and focus on the victory and the solution and not the problem and seeing it as something that you can't do anything about. 
And with the Queen of Swords as your focus, you do have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is your focus on making changes. Be mindful with the Wheel of Fortune is that though you may be working towards positive shifts and changes, the Wheel of Fortune can also speak to you experiencing turns of events that, un that are unexpected despite the positive sh shifts and changes you may be trying to make. This may be you trying to figure out how to eliminate any resistance, but seize opportunities. So let's take a look at what your guidance is, Scorpio. So with the Two of Pentacles, remember to focus on balance, 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 making balance choices, focusing on what changes you may need to make that allow for you to maintain that balance. And that even if things feel out of balance, there is a way to balance things out. You just have to have a clear mind about it to do so. So let's see what the guidance is for Scorpio. Oh, one card. Your guidance is the spider. Trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. So with the spider, trust. Trust that what you are we weaving, webbing, um, the web you're weaving or the way that you are influencing your circumstances, that you're doing things on the up and up, that you're communicating, that you have a sense of showing yourself praise or more so be mindful to not be self-critical or overcritical of yourself. Okay. And stay away from negative self-talk or negative thinking and maintain focus on the alternatives. And you may need to write things down, but continue to remain creative and seek enlightenment in your circumstances so that the changes you're trying to make and the balance that you're trying to maintain, you are able to do so effectively with that King of Swords. I hope these messages help. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.